Hello, I'm doing a quick demo of the new Radio Shack hack -a shack that has the ribbon type cable. Apparently, um, there is no mute line anymore. It's actually a software defined radio. It's a chip with pretty much an analog input, a signal processor that actually takes care of all the tuning, the muting, and all the FMAM decoding all in one chip and basically spits out analog data. You can clip, there's two capacitors you can barely see on the board. You can clip in a, in a, uh, a set of amplifiers to those little capacitors and you'll actually hear that it mutes regardless. So the muting is literally all done on chip now. Um, if you actually turn this radio on, let's see if we can figure this out here. Zoom out. Oops, oops. Standard radio, the new, the standard model. Just push it on without jigging it around too much. See, so it'll turn on. I'm gonna leave it on its side. I've got lots of wires hanging around. It'll just tune normally. Uh, the standard display actually moves and changes as you tune it. Fortunately, because there's actually a little miniature computer on board, I'm actually I've written actually a code on a PIC that actually emulates the tuning commands. So if you actually enable it, give it a sec here. It'll actually go through a scanning tuning process without any muting. The uh, green and blue cables are actually sending serial commands overriding the uh, tuner's um, control. Now, while it's doing the tuning, the display actually will not change because it's bypassing the display's information. But there you got it. There you have it. Actually, is it's you can actually hack it, but you actually have to do a little extra steps. Um, things I might try to add to is I might change the chip out with an analog input and just read raw analog to randomly tune stuff or change tuning intervals. It's, it's delayed by half a second as you can hear. If you listen carefully you'll actually hear a few words coming through every now and then. Now I don't know if this chip supports it but there might be a soft um, signal mute that it sounds like it's going on still. I'd, I'd have no way to change that unless I have the uh, data sheet for that chip, full data sheet, which doesn't seem like it's possible. But I have found similar chips to this that you can actually mess with those configuration. I might try to build a software version of Frank's box with an actual radio that's software driven. But there you have it.